Hey tribe, welcome to the HGDC, HD Designs Crochet channel. I'm your host Heather. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. And if you're brand new, hi and welcome. Today's little vlog is a roundup of my crochet at the moment. I have got some whips to show you, so let's get started. Uh, before we go into that, if you want to follow me on any social media, I have my own Facebook page, which is HG Designs Crochet. I'm on Instagram, HG Designs Crochet. I have a blog, hgdesignscrochet.co.uk. I'm on Twitter, HG Designs Crochet, C-R-O. And they will all be in the description box and at the end of this little vlog. So, let's get into it. I'm not sure which to start with. Um... If any of you have watched my previous vlog, which was the blanket stack, you will know that I have a huge amount of blankets, some of which you can see um, in various stages of completion. And when I did that vlog the other day, it got me thinking about a blanket that I started about eight years ago. So I started the blanket when I did my undergrad, which was, I started that in 2012. No, I graduated in 2012. I started in 2009. Um, and during that time, I learned to crochet in my second year when I fractured my wrist. Um, my grandmother taught me as physio. So the first real blanket that I started to make was probably the chevron and if you go back to the blanket stack you will see that in all its glory but then during my final year third year I started making granny squares and what I would do is I would study for 20 to 30 minutes and I'd have a break and I'd make a square um, and then my boyfriend at the time in the evening would test me on all of the um, case law and whatever else I had to memorise for my exams and whilst I did that I would make a square and I had something like 12 exams in my final year so you can imagine how many squares I made this is this is nothing um, and I put them all together so I made lots and lots and lots of them and I put them in my, what was my Ugg box, my Ugg boot box at the time. Um, and then I put them all together and I have some old photos which I will start to put in to show you. But as I explained in my blanket stack vlog, when you make a big blanket when you're a new learner you make lots of you make big mistakes on a big scale and my big mistake was that so for example some of this is cotton yarn and you can see here I didn't do my ends very well and that is just coming apart and when I started to sew it all together when you lifted up a section the weight of lifting up the blanket was causing this to happen and also in my corners I hadn't I hadn't sewn them together very well um, and so unfortunately it had a lot of holes in and so I took it apart and I've kept the squares and I've always meant to put them back together but best laid plans and all that I make new blankets instead um, so following the, the vlog on the blanket stack I decided to get these back out and what I've been doing well first of all shall I show you how many squares there are you can see this bag is full of squares I'm not going to tip them all out because I'm not picking them up it's full <laughs> some of them are neon then you've got more muted um, they are all different colours and what I did was I had a huge huge bag of yarn from buying one skeins like I've got here from freebies from magazines I had all sorts of yarn and what I did was I just picked out three colours and put them together and some of them are really pretty 
the colours are really nice and some of them aren't so nice. Um, but I've decided I don't want to waste them, I'm not going to chuck them and I'm a bit fed up of them just sitting in the cupboard waiting for some love. So what I've done, and it's in my tin down here, this is my knit and stitch, and I know I'm crocheting, but this is my knit and stitch tin that my friend Emily got me for my birthday. Um, and it says things like, where's that moth? Unpick and knit again. And I am unpicking and crocheting again. Let me show you. So what I'm doing is I am reworking all of the squares. I think I did these in maybe a four or a five mil hook. And I'm reworking them on a 3.5. So for scale, you can see the size difference. And I'm working them on a smaller hook to make sure that I have enough ends to sew in. So what I'm doing is, as part of my March pledge on, on Twitter, I've pledged to crochet every single day. And so what I'm doing is picking up a couple of these squares and reworking them. And then when I've reworked a stack like this, I pause and sew in the ends. You can see the ends here on the very outer edge because I always catch those in as I sew them together. But other than that, I have sewn in the ends. It's just the outer colour left. So at the moment I have done this many with the inside edges sewn. I've done, I've remade, reworked this many. And I have this many plus what's all over the table to rework. But as I said, part of my March pledge on Twitter is to crochet every day. And what I've been doing is doing a square first thing in the morning when I wake up and two or three before I go to bed. And I've actually found that really therapeutic and it's a lovely way to start my day. So I will be showing you the progress of those, but I probably won't show them off to you now until I've got a good stack and I can start putting them together. Originally, as you'll have seen from the pictures, this was a huge blanket. But again, go and watch the blanket stack vlog. I'm not much of a fan of the big blankets anymore. And some of the comments you've agreed with me. Smaller blankets are the way forward. So I think I'm going to break this down into two maybe three blankets and I'm going to put them together. Originally the first one was in black as you've seen. I am going to put one together in black but I also have a huge amount of red in my bottom tub. A huge amount and I think I'm going to put one together in red and I might have a picture to show you where I set it out. Maybe. Um, and then that leaves a third colour to be picked so if you've got any colour suggestions of what to put together my multicoloured squares in I mean some of them go really nicely if I was to line those up I need more hands it doesn't look too bad I mean the, the light is fading a bit so you're not seeing a true representation but I could definitely put I think red will work. I mean, they all clash anyway, so it doesn't matter. My other, my other, that I'm leaning towards, what if I put all of the pinks together? So that's baby pink, lilac, bright pink. Um, what if I put the purple outer edges and stitch that together all in white or another bright pink? Um, I, so I totally could do them in, in some sort of colour variation. I could put all of the blues together, the blues and the greens. And crochet them together in black. I don't know, there's so many possibilities. Um, put your thoughts below and I will, I will endeavour to continue re reworking all of those filling up this tin and beyond. I don't know where I'm going to put them when this is full. Um, and 
So options black, red, white, um, colour arrange the outer edges. Let me know what you think. So let me get all of these out of the way. I've worked out that it takes me an episode of Gossip Girl, which I am binge watching at the moment, is about 40 minutes and I can remake about five of these and sometimes the longest thing is disentangling parts of it anyway. Um, but even so, if I'm doing three or four a day and I wouldn't even like to guess, maybe I should do a raffle, guess how many squares in the bag. Um, it's going to take me a while, but that's fine because I've pledged to crochet every day. My other quick, um, well it's not quick, my other ongoing, let's do the ongoing whips, is the Just Because blanket. I showed the sh the squares that I've done so far in a previous vlog, um, maybe all about the crochet. And this is my all pink blanket that I'm making for my bedroom just because. Um, when I showed you I hadn't sewn the ends in, I have on these but again I haven't done the outer edge because that gets sewn in when I build it all together. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I've got eighteen squares, I thought I had more. I have started making um, some more of this variation with the centre, um, but I've run out of the candy floss pink and I'm waiting on an order so that I can make some more. Well, I need to make the order, but I'm not gonna do that till Edinburgh Yarn Festival and then I can continue making some more. So I've got 18 squares. I think I said I need, did I say 35? So that is ongoing but parked at the moment. All the ends are sewn in though, so I'm feeling quite smug about that. I actually have, these squares are everywhere. <laughs> I actually have a finished, it's very almost finished project. Um, made a camera cozy. So I've got this little SJ cam that I'm gonna be using when I'm out and about. And I wanted a cozy. And originally I was gonna change the yellow plate to a, ba a black plate so that it'd be a little bit more stealth ops. And now I've made the most covert undercover case that you just wouldn't notice. <laughs> so with my bright case, I may as well leave the little bright uh, camera. So I've made this. It took me about 30 minutes. Let me put the camera in to show you what it's like. Um, the camera is dinky, it's 58 grams and it's perfect to just chuck in my bag but obviously I want to protect it. So it's in there now. I decided to do pink because it's my favourite colour at the moment. Everything is pink. I'm turned to the pink lady. I don't know what's going on. I'm just embracing it. And I fringed it in yellow because the plate is yellow. Um, I have put a yellow button on there and it's almost finished but I'm just going to chain a little loop on the underside here that then closes under there like so and then I finished it off with some fringing. So that's my little camera cosy and um, if anybody wants to know how I made that I can easily do a quick tutorial it was so easy to make and I want to make these for more things. Uh, I just don't know what, but I really enjoyed making it. So if anybody wants to know how I did that, comment below. And then just one more project that is going to be a new project. I have started swatching, it's that new. Um, if you have seen, I did the Bargain High Street Hall, Yarn Hall. Um, anyone that's watched that you will have seen and if you haven't watched it go watch it I got some great bargains I brought a book from the works and I bought some yarn from Audi so let's show you the yarn fest 
Oh, sorry, I just dropped my hook. Um, this is my squishy 400 grams of Aran, which is so soft, and I like stroking it. <laughs> uh, I sniff box and straight yarn. Shouldn't admit to those things. Um, 400 grams from Audi cost me £3.99. I have 800 grams of this. There's another bowl hidden away in the stash. Um, and I have started to swatch. Now it is a bit dark in here. I appreciate. I need to get some nice lighting for you all. Um, I've started to swatch because I've picked a project. Oh. Um, I keep going on and on and on about how I want to make clothing garments this year. I've just decided to pick one and do it then. So let me show you the book that I got from the works. Um, if you go back to the Bargain Yarn Hall, High Street Hall um, vlog, I will show you, I show um, lots of different projects in here. I bought this book, Crochet Chic, Geek Chic Crochet by Nikki Trench um, because of the Peter Pan collar in, which is also on my blog I really wanted to make. And I decided to get the book at a steal at £3. Um, and then I saw the dress on the front, which is what made me pick it up. And then I found that it had a pattern I already wanted. I brought it. This is the pattern I'm going with. So I've marked it with the yarn band. This is the don't fall, yarn band from Audi. Their yarn is called So Crafty. It's in the burgundy, which is colour K110. And it's approximately 800 metres. It's from Audi. Bargain. So the dress looks like that and I am going with the burgundy. I haven't picked a trim colour. I'm not even sure if I'm going to do a contrast in trim. What do you reckon? If I do then I want it to be in that grey I think, um, which I would have to go buy because I don't have any unless I hold something double. Um, so I started doing the swatch, as I said, it's called a half treble. Um, and it actually is creating quite a nice fabric. I hope I can pull that colour off. I mean, I've worn, I've got clothes in that colour. I just, it's a bit scary to commit to a project of this size and not actually be sure if it's going to look good. But I'm going to trust in myself and the book and make this. So that is my Geek Chic Crochet. I'm going to make the jumper dress for now. Um, if you want to see any of my other projects I've got on the go, there's a knitted vlog coming. You can also look at my previous vlogs, such as the Bargain Yarn Haul. I show off lots of patterns that I've accumulated from charity shops that I want to knit, the yarn that I've picked up to go with that, and you can go back to all about the crochet from January, where I show off some of my works in progress at different stages. Don't forget to click subscribe so you can see when my next vlogs come out. Don't forget to click like to show me that you're enjoying this. Um, let me know what colours I should put together all of these squares, pick a few out, the bogey colours, what colour I should put them together in or whether I should select them, or the pinks or the greens, or I should just mash it all together. Um, comment below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Happy making. Bye.